It's an all too familiar scene. Neighborhoods and towns ravaged by hurricane surge and heavy rains. Many flood prone areas use sandbags against rising water, but they can be dangerous. Not only is sand expensive, it can absorb hazardous materials that live in floodwaters. You've got the environmental damage that happens after a flood and before a flood using sandbags. It's 500 year old technology. Let's get up with the new technology of the new world. These flood barriers, called tiger dams, are made of a type of PVC and protect property in a more environmentally friendly way by using water to fend off water. The system is very mobile. Uh, each tiger dam weighs about, uh, in this size, they weigh about 60 pounds. Pick them up, roll them out like a sleeping bag, fill it up. Once they're filled, they weigh about 10,000 pounds each. These rapid response barriers can be deployed at the last minute, stacked 32 feet high, and can stretch from 100 feet to 100 miles. Each dam takes about two or three minutes to fill, uh, depending on your water pressure. Uh, but the idea is you don't need a lot of manpower. As you can see, they're basically filling themselves. We've filled with rivers, creeks, lakes, uh, reservoirs. In Plaquemines Parish, when, when I was president, we had the tubes. And we learned that when you've got to walk down a levee or truck sandbags down a levee to raise a levee in a low part, you're tearing up the left. So when you can roll a tube out and fill it up, uh, you're not hurting the integrity of the levee. And even protecting a highway, as we did on Highway 23 in Plaquemines Parish, so we could keep that hurricane evacuator open. We manufacture in New Orleans, Louisiana, and the benefit of manufacturing in a state like this is we've had the benefit of doing real-time R&D on every type of flood for the last almost 20 years. And once the flood threat is over, the water can be released into the city's drainage system or back into the body of water where it came from. And the good thing about it is you can have them stored in a trailer somewhere, and they're there when you need them. And as opposed to having a big warehouse full of sandbags or other products, take a proactive approach, the old ounce of prevention, pound of cure approach to your own property, to your community, to your critical infrastructure, saves everybody on insurance, time, money, and ultimately will save lives.